So I have a method for animating characters that I came up with, which is pretty straightforward and it's easy to set up. And that's pretty important because I'm kind of lazy. So we're going to go over how I did this and how it works. So uh, I'd like to improve on this later, but I've got this rig. It's a bone and I've got it parented to our character object. So if we move the character, then this will go with it. And so like if I'm working on the scene, I can just go over here and then you know, animate the character. And I've got this in a separate layer so I can remove it at, or actually, I guess it's a collection now. So I've got this uh, collection and I can just hide it. So that's good. And let's uh, just do a quick uh, animation. So I'm gonna turn on auto keyframe, go to frame one. I'm gonna select this first. So I have uh, snapping on, that's part of how this uh, whole thing works. And I'm gonna select, uh, basically I'm selecting a, a vertice because I've done some loop cuts on this image. And I'm going to select this first animation and or first keyframe that I'm gonna move on to this one and then this one, and then we'll close off with this. So that doesn't work because this is interpolating between these two different locations, these two different keyframes. So it's sliding from one to the other. So this is a two part thing you have to do with this setup. So if you go into the graph editor here, select everything, hit T and we want constant. And constant will make it so these look, these uh, keyframes just are like a position that you it's gonna snap between. So now we have this bone selecting our images that we want or our locations on our image and that's great and we don't have to render this uh, layer so we can add a camera and render our animation and we won't even see this ui thing so how does it work well uh let's just dis delete this delete this and we're going to start fresh so in the uv editor i've got this set up here and basically what we're doing with our setup is we're, we're moving we're adjusting this position without actually moving our uh, mapping or anything so we do that in the node editor and this is kind of similar to another video i did before uh, these are purple because they used to have drivers on them and i'm going to delete drivers so now I can control the location with this slider, but I don't want to do that. I want to create that like UI thing. So I'm going to add a bone on armature. So now I'm going to import our image as planes, select faces, and this imported and it's one by one across and that's important. Uh, I, do, I still have this snapping on. I'm gonna turn it to, well, yeah, let's, actually let's hide everything except this. I'm gonna move this here. I want to take this and line it up. So we've got this corner lined up with this here. And now I'm going to duplicate our bone. And I can just go vertex snapping. There we go. This is going to be our selector. Let me just rename this selector. And this will be our root bone. So the way this is set up right now, I want this to be parented to this object and that'll be very important later on. So 
this is our little menu. So the goal is to get this to move to select these different faces. And actually go into pose mode. I already made this um, viewport thing somewhere. I think it's this one. Yeah, okay, so that's not quite right. Uh, I'm gonna edit this real quick. This is more of a, just an aesthetic detail. Hide that again. Okay, so uh, I have this and I want this to snap to these different locations on this texture. So I'm gonna very carefully create some cuts along this. So now I have these different points I can snap to right here. So there we go. That's good. And you'll notice over here, we have this location and this is in the bone um, part right here. Uh, I've set up, oh, I've set this up wrong, actually. This is, this should be, this should be um, X and this should be Y, but we'll, we'll deal with that. It's fine. Um, so uh, this is using these like decimal values. And that's important because our texture also uses decimal values over here uh, in the shading editor. If I show everything again. So actually, go back here, this right here, that's not working for some reason, oh well, 0.443313, that changes one unit over. So. Uh, this and this won't be a problem if we if we move our image there'll be problems but if we just move this entire uh, menu system here we won't have uh, any issues with the location for this messing up our texture uh, I'm just gonna set this over here for now so what we want to do is uh, move that I'm going to right click on our X coordinate and add a driver. And this driver is going to be this new armature we made. Oh, didn't let me finish. And we're going to select our selector bone. And right now it's the Y location we want, which is, is fine. Um, why is that messed up? Oh, I know why it's messed up. Okay, so when I right click, edit driver again. We don't wanna use world space, we wanna use transform space. So that'll be this location right here relative to this bone here, or, or, or our center of the, our, our object. So that'll be zero. So now that we've got the X, we can put in our Y. And in, in this uh, instance, I, we actually have to use Z. And that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Oh, we got to select the bone. And it still didn't work. Why didn't it work? Oh, so I think you actually have to put to 
negative. Let's turn off snapping and Hmm. All right, not exactly sure what the problem was, but um, previously I could just set a, this to be negative here um, because this, this has to be negative because um, actually I'm not sure why it needs to be negative there, but that's how it was working before. Um, and I'll make an update video when I figure out more about why that wasn't working but anyway i added a multiply so it's one so it'll just be this value and then negative so it'll just be this and so uh yeah it'll be negative 0.270 so now we can select whatever we want from here and of course we could add uh, more this is still going to be on the texture but we don't want that uh, so yeah, you can add more images and expand on this. And that's how this works. So I hope that's useful for someone. Again, I'll have some extra tutorials down in the comments and I'm going to be expanding on this later with uh, version two. So that's all for now and thank you for watching.